Welcome to More Than Money channel. Today I would like to focus on Nakamura's projects in Afghanistan and try to tell you what he did and how he did it. Well, the most important thing which I have really uh, respect for is his work for uh, creating canals, in, uh, especially in Kama, where I would like to go and find out and see by myself uh, how he managed to create uh, an area where people they can have a lot of agriculture and live there so let's try to have a look on uh, nakamura's work in afghanistan now there has been uh, exactly three years ago since somebody some of the warlords they shot him down because he was a threat for their economical situations This is uh, Copenhagen airport from where we will take a flight to Istanbul. Uh, from Istanbul then we will head to uh, Kabul which is the capital city of Afghanistan. In Copenhagen uh, in which is the capital city of Denmark uh, we don't use Euro as the rest of Europe. We use something called Danish Krona. Uh, Danish Krona, uh, one uh, US dollar is about uh, seven Danish Krona and the same is Euro, like one Euro is about seven point something Danish Krona. Uh, the city here uh, in Copenhagen, this city is uh, one of the most expensive cities in the world. Uh, the same is it with uh, our neighboring cities like uh, in Norway, Oslo and uh, Swedish Stockholm but uh, this airport is quite uh, central for all the Scandinavian countries we have someone a lot of people passengers from uh, Sweden uh, also using this airport uh, while in this airport you normally uh, don't rush there are not so many people uh, and uh, everything is very well organized. It means that uh, you always uh, don't stress when you go to your flight. Uh, you will have everything on the time. Uh, nobody is late. Uh, so th th that's quite good experience to have a flight from Copenhagen airport. Now we will uh, head to the towards the, uh, the flight uh, to Turkey. From Turkey, we will go to Kabul International Airport, and from there we will head to Jalalabad, which is the city where Nakamura he did uh, most of his works. Uh, and who is Nakamura? I will try to tell you some uh, basic information about his life, who it, who he was, uh, from where did he came and why did he came to Afghanistan and what did he contribute to the country. A lot of Afghans, they love him, they respect him and uh, they even uh, call him Uncle Murad, uh, Kaka Murad. Uh, some Afghans claim that he also uh, did convert to Islam, he was a Muslim, but that's not confirmed information. I like to travel, I like to experience different cultures, people, 
and uh, the society uh, in different different places in the world um, some people might be scared if they fly or somebody might find it uh, stressful if they have a flight like for many hours but uh, i enjoy it i enjoy every second in the plane and uh, i try to have something to do and plan and and write down some things so i am always busy uh, traveling uh, This is Ariana Airlines. This is the national airlines of Afghanistan and in this airline you find very old flights. Uh, the airplanes might be old but the service is uh, excellent. So is the food. Uh, everything is quite good. Uh, the only uh, scary thing is that these flights, uh, airplanes, they have a high rate regarding uh, accidents and uh, and, and tragedies uh, but otherwise they uh, are very good uh, to travel with I have uh, in many years traveled with Ariana Airlines both uh, domestic flights within Afghanistan and abroad and I don't uh, had any I didn't had any uh, problem with, uh, with or issue with the service there or the uh, flights uh, they are quite old and uh, that's it uh, well i can recommend uh, you to use ariana airplane mm, well right now there are no other possibilities either if you travel to afghanistan because you have either come air or ariana airlines so that's uh, there are no other choices now we are almost uh, in Ka kabul international airport and we will soon uh, land afterwards uh, we will try to get some sleep when uh, we are ready uh, then we will try to head to jalalabad which is the main city uh, where nakamura uh, did uh, a lot of uh, projects This is the way to Jalalabad from uh, Kabul to Jalalabad it might take uh, you 3-4 uh, hours uh, the way is okay the highway is okay uh, you have to go through Maipar uh, which is uh, the mountainous area and the highway uh, through and uh, you have a great view there that's fantastic to drive there. Uh, it will take some hours but uh, you can appreciate that time and enjoy the view there are many small restaurants on the way and we can recommend you some uh, fish when you uh, get closer to Jalalabad a city called Duranta Duranta have a special fish you can find and also you can stop at the highway and get some pictures and view fantastic view
These kennels are designed and worked by, created by Nakamura himself. Uh, this is a mountainous area in a district called Kama, Uluswali. In Kama, uh, there are many farms. There are a lot of uh, farmery and, and people, they, they have different kind of uh, factories uh, too. Uh, we will show you a factory later on uh, a factory where they uh, produce uh, some kind of uh, candy or sugar uh, well uh, you can see that in the end of the video but right now you see all these green areas they have never been green here before Nakomara's project uh, what he did later on uh, in his life was that he said people they need clean water and uh, water not only f uh, for themselves and, uh, and to drink but also for farming and uh, that was why he uh, actually succeeded in in uh, in creating this uh, canal system for all the area uh, in and around Kama district which is only one district so he did very very good job regarding the water and uh, that brought people work and uh, farm farming uh, possibilities uh, people are very happy to have a lot of water there uh, they have water 24 hours a day and uh, and they can use it for so many purposes uh, all the area uh, is actually progressing because of the water system which is uh, very effective and and working great uh, without any uh, issues or problem people they uh, know uh, Nakamura very well they know that 
he did came to Afghanistan from Japan and they have a lot of sayings about him they say that Nakamura he uh, usually worked with his colleagues with, with his workers even though he was a manager or founder uh, of this uh, NGO called uh, Peshawar Kai a Japanese uh, NGO uh, then when even though he was the the, the leader of that uh, he used to work uh, beside uh, his Afghan workers and when they f finished the daily work like in three uh, three or four o'clock everyone would say okay now it's uh, we are off we go home then he would say okay now you work one hour for free for your country for Afghanistan and he was with them uh, he people they have a lot of sayings of uh, this kind and, and they were appreciate his work and his contribution uh, you see when you come to Jalalabad you can see a lot of his uh, his uh, signs in many places and especially this sign called PMS which is Peace Japanese uh, Medical Services uh, this is his aid group uh, which is also known in Japanese uh, Peshawar Kai as I mentioned but uh, Nakamura is, uh, or Takamura as they say, uh, was actually quite old too. Uh, when he died, he was around uh, 73 years old. And um, he still worked physically with them. He tried to do whatever his colleagues was doing. And uh, he, uh, he told his la last minute, he was active in his uh, projects uh, not not until his death actually after he was uh, shot uh, dead in uh, 2019 which is ec exactly three years ago in December in the early December uh, then his uh, colleague which, uh, who were uh, who were the chairman of uh, this aid group called Peshawar Kai uh, his name is uh, Masaru Murakami uh, this guy he took over and he said uh, that Nakamura told me how unresponsible it was that uh, we the Japanese people don't offer help to poor people living in mountainous areas who die of treatable diseases so he added that uh, that I should uh, that I should take over and help these people and that's what he's doing now. He has taken over and he's doing a great uh, job in the same area. Many people assume that Nakamura did only work with uh, water creating or as physician. But that's only half of the truth. Nakamura did help uh, in many ways. Uh, based on the canal project the villages around Jalalabad and especially this one we are in it's called Kama Uluswali or district here people they managed to farm they had a lot of uh, vegetables and uh, especially sugar canes uh, this area is known for its sugar cane and this kind of candy they make out of it this fab, uh, factory as you see here they take the juice from the sugar cane with a machine and when they warm this juice uh, then uh, they will uh, make it into some kind of candy which goes all over Afghanistan and uh, in Afghanistan this kind of candy called gurda uh, which is a kind of uh, uh, fudge I think uh, this is uh, this is actually very attractive and you eat it with uh, some uh, chai or green tea which is also very famous in Afghanistan and this is a, a, a product uh, which is only achieved if there are there is water available and water was uh, available because of uh, the uh, projects uh, done by uh, Nakamura so people they got a lot of jobs they got a lot of, lot of uh, work and, uh, and vegetables and farmery and so on uh, all these because of the projects um, created and made and finished by nakamura 
that's also why a lot of people afghans they were very sad when uh, the warlord uh, shot dead uh, nakamura uh, people they accuse one another of uh, have been involved in it but uh, the main thing is that uh, at the time uh, three years from now in the country there were no security and nobody was able to travel from uh, a to b and uh, in the country everything was unsecure that's why he got killed and uh, also because when he was making a lot of project where the uh, poor people was uh, getting uh, something out of then the rich people and some of the warlords uh, they were actually uh, kind of uh, angry at nakamura and said he should stop his work because they were losing money and, uh, and 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 that's the main theory because in jalalabad or ningarhar or or this area if you if you ask people all of them they say it's well known who sh- shot him dad and 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 who was his enemy and that was uh, that was not uh, the people who the government uh, accused of have been his uh, murderer well i hope you enjoyed the video uh, about nakamura uh, as i mentioned nakamura was uh, 73 years old when he got killed in uh, in december 2019 uh, he came to afghanistan in uh, in actually in the very early days of the war in afghanistan and uh, and he was there for decades uh, So people they know him in Afghanistan as uh, Kaka Murad someone claim that uh, he actually converted and was uh, Muslim and was also praying and so on but what he was was very a simple guy uh, helping a lot of poor people with great projects and he contributed to millions of people in Afghanistan so thank you Nakamura uh, and to the Japanese people for everything. Nakamura's projects in Afghanistan. He has uh, begun for more than 40 years ago uh, helping the country and especially with something I ap- really appreciate. That was why I went all the way from uh, Denmark, Copenhagen and uh, to Afghanistan and not only Afghanistan but especially to his project directly. Uh, I saw how he has developed the uh, area from uh, being nothing to being a very greenery area people they have a lot of access to water and uh, they can uh, live there uh, and make their money uh, their groceries and their farmings uh, thanks to Nakamura